Welcome back to Cooking with Hannah Soul, and we are on day 17 of our 25 days of Cookmas. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to fry the crispiest fried chicken. So let's jump right in and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our chicken is nice and cold. It has been rinsed but dried off before adding our seasoning. Then we're going to massage that seasoning all into our chicken, then move on to making our flour mixture. We're going to be combining two cups of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and then my secret ingredient to the crispiest fried chicken is potato starch. And so we're gonna add in a half a cup of that. We're gonna mix it until all of those are well combined. And then we're also gonna season this baby up so that our chicken is nice and flavorful. And don't worry because as always, all of the ingredients along with the measurements are gonna be listed below in the description box so that you can go ahead and make this at home. Then we're gonna make our egg mixture. Now, I am not a fan of the buttermilk train. I do not like the way that buttermilk fries up chicken. It's a preference, so I'm just gonna be combining three eggs and hot sauce, and then we're gonna mix that until it's well combined. So once your egg mixture is all done, go ahead and grab your chicken. We're gonna be dipping it into the egg mixture first and then into the flour. And then we're gonna let it set on a rack for about five to seven minutes so that it has time to adhere to the chicken so that it doesn't fall off as soon as we put it inside the grease. Then you wanna make sure that your grease is nice and hot. You wanna have it heated to about 350 degrees. So once all your chicken pieces are ready, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down into that hot oil. And we're gonna let those cook for about 10 minutes until they're nice and golden brown and melanated how we like it. But this is the crispiness you're going for. You don't wanna lose it. So instead of draining it on a paper towel, we're gonna drain it on a rack with paper towels underneath. And then y'all, we got ourselves some good eating. But it doesn't stop there because y'all, I got a little surprise and bonus for you. So y'all know those chicken shacks that have the best fried chicken baskets around the way that comes with the fries and the white bread and the good sauce well i'm going to show you how to make those chicago style so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to do is get started with our sauce and most of the sauces are ketchup based so we're going to be adding our ketchup then we're going to add a little bit of mustard for the tanginess but so that it also curbs some of the sweetness that we're going to be adding i add a little bit of maple syrup and hot sauce we're going to stir that until it cooks down and then maybe about five minutes later we're going to add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar continue to stir and let it simmer and then the last ingredient is to add a little bit of brown sugar and you're going to let that simmer until all of that is well combined and then you're going to take it off the burner and let it set until we're ready and then we're going to grab a little container add our wonder bread because it's the best bread for this you're going to top it with some french fries along with your pieces of chicken and then we're going to drown it in that good old sauce that we just made now, once you got all of that done, you really got yourself some good eating. So y'all, making this video really took me back home to Chicago and I really enjoyed making this video. So I hope y'all enjoyed. And as always, the full measurements and the recipe is gonna be listed below in the description box, along with all of the links to my single recipes, my cookbooks, and even my new seasoning line, as well as all of my social media so you guys can follow me. So until next time, bye y'all.